So hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my June favourites. I... wait, June favourites? Yeah, it's June favourites, jeez. I was only just thinking though, like, I did a kind of late May favourites, kind of halfway through the month, so this isn't going to be a massive favourites, because I found that like I'm still using pretty much everything in there, so I've kind of picked out a couple of things that I'm still really obsessed with. Um, but yeah, it is generally very similar things. If you want to see the makeup look that I have got on, it will be going up. It would be up already, so it'll be my last video that's already gone up. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I'm also doing a little weekly vlog thing at the moment, which will also be up on this channel very, very soon, so keep your eyes open for that. And then after that one goes up, they'll move on to my vlog channel, but I just wanted to put one up on here so that, you know, I think a lot of people don't often like go through and like subscribe to other people's vlog channels and stuff, so I wanted to kind of give you a little sampler of what it will be like on this channel. So that's coming up. But yes, anyway, so actual favourites. I'm going to start off with a couple of brushes which I have been loving. First one, Real Techniques Blush Brush. Love this. Such an amazing brush to apply blush. That's a bit of a mouthful. Um, it's just so great. It makes blush so, so easy to apply and it's so soft. You can just like, just, oh, just sit there like that all day. It's so, so soft. So nice and I really, really love it. There's that, and then the next one, they're all Real Techniques brushes. Sorry, if that's going to annoy you. The next one is um, the Contour brush. This comes in the Core Collection kit thing. Um, I love using this to blend out concealer. I used to use the one from MUA, but this one I just find does it a lot quicker because it's a bit bigger, and the brushes are all, like, it's quite tapered, so you've got loads of brushes, of uh, bristles, of all different um, lengths, so I guess you get more kind of in contact with the skin at one time so you can really blend it really quickly and really well. So yeah, I'm really loving that for using for concealer. That's what I'm trying to say. And the last one is the brow brush, which obviously comes in the eye kit. Um, or it might come in the brow kit. I think it's a brow kit. I don't have it though. But I've been using this with this Freedom Eyebrow Promade in the shade Blonde. I It's like a brow gel. How do they describe it? They don't. Okay, that, that's helpful. It's basically like a kind of gel mousse sort of thing. Um, I don't know how... Yeah, I'd say it's not even like a gel. It's like a cr very dense, creamy gel thing. But I've been using it in my eyebrows because when I want a little bit more definition, I've got it on now. If you want to see how I use it, go check out the Get Ready With Me because I've just used it. But I've been using those two together to get a little bit more defined, um, put together brow look recently and I found that in the sales pit in like the sales bin in Superdrug for 2 50 I think it's on offer for four pounds at the moment or it was when I bought it because I was gonna buy one but they didn't have the tester for this shade and I didn't want to buy it without testing it and then I saw it in the sales thing and I was like oh I'll just get it it was 2 50 down for five pounds so I thought I can risk 2 50 but I didn't really want to risk like a fiver in case I then got the wrong shade then had to go buy another shade and then that makes it 10 pounds and it's just like like, the most annoying thing is when you get a brow product that's the wrong shade, because at least if it's, like, an eye product or a lip product and it's kind of, this, like, slightly off, you can, like, use it with other things to make it work. This, I don't feel like you can. But anyway, I've been loving this. <laughs> so that's that. I went about that really weirdly. But anyway, last makeup product. Nope, not the last, but one of the last. Is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I really love this powder. It's such a great powder. It's such a great powder. I really love it. Um, I'm just going to touch it. Got a bit of a shiny, t shiny chin. I just think the whole Fit Me system still works really well together. I've got um, the Fit Me foundation in the Matte and Paulus formula, which I still love. Hate the packaging so much. I've said this so many times. Um, I don't hate this packaging. I think it's a bit clunky. I kind of don't really use this, but I could do without that in a, in a powder. Um, it's nice to have, but I could do without it if it was a, you know, a, more like that kind of uh, packaging thickness. I could I'd prefer that, but yeah. Anyway, love the powder, it's really great for mattifying foundation, and the colour works really well on me, um, and the foundation is still great, I hate the packaging, that's the kind of general roundup of this foundation. Although I have to say, it does kind of accentuate my, um, they're not pores, but my scars from where I've had like spots and things, it does kind of accentuate it a little bit down here, so maybe I need to put some more professional there next time, I'm not really sure. But yeah, it's that, and another favourite. Benefit Professional, but with the Smashbox Primer Water. These two together are my perfect, perfect combination for my base. I love it. It makes my makeup last really, really long, and it gives it just a really nice, e this really gives me a nice and even base to work on. And this, I feel like, makes my skin feel really hydrated, and it works, they work together really well to kind of give you a clean, 
long lasting base for your makeup. Another favourite is the Nivea Daily Essentials Light Moisturising Day Cream. I've been using this for about a week now and it's so good. I have been struggling to find a nice affordable day cream for ages. I was using the one from La Roche Posay but it was like £9 and I I didn't love it, I found like makeups kind of sat on it a bit funny sometimes, but this one's really great, it was so cheap, it was like £2 I think, and that might, it was on offer when I got it, I don't know if it was on offer to £2 or if it was less when it was on offer, I can't really remember, but yeah, I got it in the normal and combination skin version, and I just thought I'd give it a go because it was really cheap, and yeah, really really like it, it's got SPF 15 as well, so it's quite good for the summer, um, I actually use it like, I actually use it um, day and night sometimes, I mean I normally use a thicker moisturiser at night but every now and then I'll just use this, like if I'm going on holiday I'll probably only bring this because like, you know it's, it's enough, it's enough of a moisturiser that you don't feel like your skin's gonna be you know really tight and it, it's, just, it's just good, I just like it. If you've got oily skin or um, kind of dehydrated oily skin I'd give that a go. Moisturising my body, I have been really loving the Soap and Glory, what is the actual name? The Sugar Crush Body Butter Cream. Really love this, I've used well over half of it now. Um, I have got this for my birthday, yeah I've used about half of it. It smells so good, I always think it smells like Sprite, but like, there's definitely something else there. What is this scent? I think it's like, oh Sweet Lime. It's, it's definitely like Sprite 7up-esque, but there's like something else, I don't know what it is. Maybe a little bit like vanilla or something, I don't know, but I really love it. It's a really nice thick moisturiser, I like to use it after I get out of the shower, but I don't tend to use it like if I'm going to be then putting clothes straight on. It's the sort of thing you use if you're going to maybe sit in your dressing gown for a little while and get ready and kind of take it slow while I use it like before I go to bed or something. It's not, it's, it's not very quick absorbing, but it leaves your skin feeling so nice afterwards and um, like I'll wake up in the morning after putting this on and I can still kind of feel like a little bit of a residue but it's nice because it makes your skin feel really plump and moisturised and like I can still smell it on my skin so really like that. Oh I forgot to mention about the fact that it's like hammering it down with rain right now so I'm really sorry if you can hear like a slight kind of like drippy background noise. Um, I can't really do much about that, I've got to film quite a few videos today and the weather has well and truly let me down, but what did I expect? We're in England and it's June, so yeah. My final favourite, I know this was, like I said, it was going to be quite a quick favourite, but my final one has been my epilator. I bought this two weeks ago now, I want to say, but I feel like because I did a, like, halfway through my favourites, like, I basically had, like, two, not halfway through me, a late May favourites, I basically have had, like, two weeks to gather these favourites. I basically purchased the Braun Silk Ep, Epil, it says Epil, I don't know if that's, I heard it's pronounced it on the TV when it was an advert for it the other day and I can't remember what it was, but the Silk Epil 5. This is a fairly expensive epilator. I got it, it was about £50, but it was on offer for half price from Boots. So you get five different attachments to this, it's not cordless, you do need a wire um, like this and you also need the, like, what do you call it, the converter from like a European shaver brush thing to a e like a British plug which I didn't know so then I bought it and couldn't use it I had to go buy one of these um, so yeah it's not cordless that was the only kind of downfall but the cordless ones get quite expensive and it's not wet and dry as well that was the only thing the only kind of things that I was a bit nervous about but um yeah I thought I was I, I really wanted to try it because I hate shaving so much and I don't mind waxing like I've had my legs waxed before and I thought it was okay but it just like I don't know, it's just expensive, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's not something that's so easy you can just do it like really quickly because afterwards your legs are really red. And I mean, I must say, my legs do get a bit red after I do it, but if you do it regularly, it doesn't hurt nearly as much. If you like leave your hairs to grow really, really long and then do it, yes, you'll get really red legs where it's like plucked all the hairs out, but the little ones, you don't notice it as much because obviously like, I don't know how to explain it, but basically your hairs are all growing at different rates, aren't they? So you know, if you do it regularly you'll have like maybe a third of the hairs than if you were to let all of the hairs grow out to the same length and then rip them all out once, if you know what I mean. Do you know what, if you don't know what an epilator is, it's basically loads of little tiny tweezers and it plucks the hairs as you move it, so if I get my leg and you just roll it up like that and it plucks all the hairs out, so yeah. I've been loving it. I don't find it hurts that much. I've got quite a pain, high pain tolerance with like my legs, I mean I could do waxing like not really a big deal 
Um, it does hurt, I'm not going to say it's like painless, it does hurt but it definitely hurts less over time. So the five different attachments you get, you get a shaver head one, so that whole like thing, I'll show you, this whole thing actually comes off and you can swap it so it's just like a, an electric shaver. Or for the actual epilator you can put, da -da 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 -da, it's five different heads, so this one's got like these massage ball things on it. But that can come off and that's the actual epilator itself and then there's um, three different sized ones for this. So this one's like the kind of armpit one. There's a really fine one for face, although I cannot imagine using an epilator on my face. I think that would be absolutely hideous. And then there's this one here, which I'm not really sure what it is for. I guess if it's if you're like really brave with your armpits or something. Um, because I wouldn't want to use it on my legs because I quite like this one for my legs because it's got like the... Um, whatever this is called, <laughs> the little massage ball things, but either way, I've been kind of obsessed with epilating. And so yeah, that is my favourites for this month. I hope you have enjoyed, I've kind of ranted on about that for a little while, so now this favourites video is kind of a regular length. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!